Now, University of Pretoria researchers have discovered a new way to monitor blood oxygen levels in immobilized rhino, thus boosting efforts to combat poaching. The research shows that pulse oximeters attached to the third eyelid of rhinos can be used effectively to monitor their blood oxygen levels while they are under anesthesia for dehorning or relocation. To tell us more about this very important piece of, of work, I'm joined in studio by Dr. Tembega Mtetwa, an early career comparative physiologist at University of Pretoria's Faculty of Veterinary Science. Doc, uh, good morning. Welcome to the South African Morning on ENCA. Hi, Brighton, and uh, thank you for having me, and uh, good morning to your viewers. Yeah, this new research, just tell us more about it. I mean, uh, for how long have you been doing it, and what is the purpose? Okay, so this research was part of my PhD. Uh, I graduated my PhD last year in April, and so I it started in it pretty much when I was doing my master's, where we, we, we wanted to monitor impala while we are also immobilizing these animals because they are used as a study animal for other wild animals. So we were using that pulse oximeter and then uh, we, we were monitoring it at different attachment sites to see which place is more accurate. And we, we found very, it's not disappointing, but it's, it still results that it was accurate when you put it under the tail. So after that, we were like, let's do this in the rhino because we need to research more on, uh, especially because the rhino, we always have to translocate them to safer environments, dehorn them, and while we're doing that, we're using immobilizing drugs, opioids, that are, as much as we're trying to improve how they, 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 they so that they have less stress on the animal, we, they also cause uh, difficulty in breathing. They uh, affect the gas exchange between the blood and the lungs. Mm -hmm. 